Welcome back to Underground Outdoors here in Beryllium, Wisconsin. You guys seen this on a couple videos ago we were in here. Did a big walkthrough of the store itself. Showed you guys the Tideweed products that we have available in here as well as the PC Fund products that we have available in here. And today we're making a video that has been highly requested the last couple of weeks here since we came out with a compound bow. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking us to do a review of the compound bow itself. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're also gonna show you how to set this bow up if you're purchasing it. Basically, if you wanna get into one of these bows too as well, you're local, you're in the area, Appleton, Green Bay, you can come here to Brilliant at Underground Outdoors and get yourself one of these compound bow packages. I'm kind of just gonna go over to Andy Foytek over here, um, one of the bow technicians here at Underground. We're gonna show you guys how to get one of these compound bows set up and ready for hunting. You got the old Instinct R2 right here, brand new in the package. We're gonna have you uh, show us how to get this set up today. Well, let's take a look what's all in there and I can kind of explain what we all got and what we got to work with. So basically there's just about everything in here you're gonna need to start shooting. You're gonna be real close to be ready to go out hunting. So the, everything's gonna come pre-packaged in here. You got the bow, you got your arrows, comes with all your goodies to bolt everything onto the bow itself. The sight, the rest, an arrow puller, a stabilizer, and even a release. There's a kickstand to stand your bow up. You probably saw it when he was showing the bow over there to stand your bow. If you're in a ground blind, they're super handy. Then the big thing is gonna be getting this stuff put on there correctly and tuned so that the bow will shoot proper. And then to get it fitted to you, every archer is gonna be a little bit different and they should be, you gotta be measured and make sure you're anchoring correctly. And if you're a little bit, not so much knowing what's going on, to have somebody help you along with that a little bit. It is kind of technical. You want them to have it right so that you're not picking up any bad habits and you can shoot as good as possible. Sweet, well right out of the right out of the gate here, Andy, if you wanna pull that bow out, we'll just kind of show them the camo pattern on the bow itself. Uh, the design of the risers and everything. It looks really sleek and uh, actually looks pretty lightweight too as well. Is it pretty lightweight in the hand there? It is, it's a really nice bow. Has a nice, I like the narrow grip on it. It's easier and better for shooting. It actually comes with the super loop already put on it that you're gonna want and also has the peep sight put on it. That'll have to be adjusted to each archer as you're setting up the bow. That's not too hard, that's pretty easy. It actually has your limb dampeners already installed. So a lot of the hard work is done. A lot of that stuff is can be a little bit trickier. You'd need a press to put the to put the peep in, so that won't have to be done. That's already done for you. Awesome. It looks like there's a little spec card on there. What do we have for draw weight on there? It's highly adjustable. So it's gonna tell you. So it says axle to axle is 30 inches. That's the distance from your axle here to your axle at the top of the bow. So it's a it's a relatively short bow. It's really handy in a, either a blind or in a tree stand. That's been kind of the kind of the craze here for a number of years. It shows the draw weight as being zero to 70 pounds, so highly adjustable. It shows your draw length at 18 to 31 inches. That's gonna cover 90% of the hunters. I'm 6'2 with a crazy long arm, kind of freaky. I shoot a 31 and a half inch draw. This bow would be very close to fitting me. This is also gonna go down to probably a 10 year old being able to set this up and shoot them with the proper poundage and draw length. It's just gonna take some adjustments in your cams and then adjustments on your draw weight. And then it just gives you your specs on how long your string is and how long your cables are. Do you wanna make your archery shop happy later? Keep that card because it makes it a lot easier if you, Eventually you need to put new strings and cables. It can be years, it depends how well you take care of the bow and how long, how many times you wax it in between for upkeep. But that's really handy to know. So we know when we have to order new strings and cables, we know which ones we have to get. Awesome. Well, it looks like we have everything that we need in the box here to get this bow set up and shootable. Why don't we go back and see how you set this bad boy up. All right. So this is gonna be your hand strap and your stabilizer. The stabilizer actually holds your hand strap on. So you just put that in the front of the bowl that's threaded. Screw that right in there. Now the hand strap, when you set it up for your hand, you don't want it super tight. You want it kind of loose. When you're shooting this bowl, I recommend shooting with an open or very loose grip. Because if you grab that bowl, it actually twists the riser and, and your arrow's coming through the rest a little crooked. So by having this hand strap on there, it's basically so when you're shooting with an open grip that the bowl doesn't fall down. That's actually helping you hold the bowl through the shot process. And then you just feed that through there. It's nothing too complicated. That's pretty easy. But like so. Next, I recommend putting the rest on. It's just being this one screw. You're gonna want that kind of level and behind the riser. It comes with all the Allen wrenches you're gonna need to put this together if you're doing it on your own. 
I have all my own stuff back here. I do quite a bit of this kind of stuff. So, and you just tighten that up and you want it pretty snug on there. You can see you want that kind of level across the riser of the bowl. And that's, then you just give it a good snug tight. And you're gonna want that. I don't want it touching the riser, just the spot where it could vibrate against it. I like to set the arrow up next. So there's two different planes that this needs to be squared on. So you put the arrow in the rest, in the super loop. Now I found that when I check the super loops, they've been pretty close to where you want them. I haven't had to move the super loop. They are movable if you, they can be a pain, but you can slide them up and down. And they want that not super tight on the arrow, but about like so. This is where it comes in handy with an archery shop doing it. They're gonna have some of this stuff to help you out. I'm gonna square the bow in my clamp. See how I got the bubble level? Now I know that that string is going straight up and down. Now this being a dual cam bow, you're gonna want that at about a 90 degree level. So you make sure that's sitting there nice. Okay, you can see that it's a little bit back high. So we actually, this rest does not move up and down. It only moves in and out. So that actually we will have to move this super loop just a little bit. And that's showing me just a fuzz high. I got it down a little bit. And I recommend doing this before you try drawing this back because if you draw back on that super loop, it gets really tight on there. So we're about a 16th. So that's gonna be pretty close. When you shoot this rest, if you look from the back, see how I have the arrow, we call the cock feather is gonna go up. That'll slide in between these brushes and the other two will sit down through the bottom. That'll give you the best clearance possible coming through that rest. Next step is you also have to know it's straight this way. That rest is adjustable in and out. This is my handy dandy little tool that I've been using for years. You pick a flat spot on the riser, you set. So now I know that that is straight. It's coming back straight to the string. And now you flip that over and check it to the, check it to the arrow in front. Okay, I see I have to move it just to fuzz out. Get your Allen wrench set again and make some small adjustments. And now you can see that that's coming down straight on the arrow. So we know that that arrow is gonna come out of there perfectly straight. That's a big one. That's gonna be a little harder to do without the right stuff. Now the next part will be the sight. So it's got a couple holes. You can pick either one. The extra holes are gonna be for a uh, quiver that you add on later. So put it through these open holes. I like having the sight out as far as possible. The farther you make this distance, the better your shooting will be. Sometimes that's not possible with some of the equipment you put on, it all depends, but they give you that option to pick your own holes. And then you just snug her up good on there. There you go. Basically this bow is ready to start. Now we can go to the next step. We can start checking the draw length and getting that part set for each individual shooter. That's gonna be a little different. Everything should be marked right on your, on your cams. Every one of these holes is numbered so you know where the, and there'll be a dot to show you where you're rotating it to tell you what draw you're at. So if you look at this flat spot on the cam, that's what's gonna come around and it's gonna hit your, hit your cable and that's what's gonna stop your draw length. So that rotates and makes it longer or shorter. Right now it's as long as it possibly can go. All you have to do is loosen up this screw. You can see the dot over here. That line is lining up with this one, telling me it's at the 30 inch draw, or 31 inch draw. So it's gonna be as long as possible. The harder part is gonna be for the individual to figure out what is, what is the right draw length for you. You're gonna come into my shop, here's what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you probably put on a dummy release. I'll just use fingers to give you an idea. But I'm gonna show you where I want that string to come. So I want that string to be at the tip of your nose, to kind of come to the corner of your mouth with a slight bend in your front arm. So you can see I got a little bit of an extra bend in my arm because it's just a fuzz short for me. But most guys are going to be under that. The average draw length is usually 28 to 30 inches. You go down to the youth, it's going to be a little shorter yet. <clears throat> but that's what we're looking for. Get that arm out there. You want the bottom part of your elbow facing the floor with a slight bend in your arm with a loose hand. And then when you draw it back, it should come to the tip of your nose, to the corner of your mouth. And then your release in your anchor actually will be back here just a little bit further. I've been doing this for close to 30 years. I can get you figured out and get it to the right draw length. And then you work with your draw weight, which will be adjusted up in here. We'll find a comfortable draw length or draw weight that's comfortable that you can draw it back and enjoy shooting. You don't want to struggle getting it back. If you can only get it back once or twice, that's probably a little too much. You can always work up into more poundage, but I, I like seeing when people are learning that it should be a little bit on the lighter side you, so you can shoot more arrows. Because if you're struggling to shoot, you're really not gaining anything and learning how to actually shoot. This is a neat little option that Tidewe sent along. It's called a kickstand. So that's gonna clamp over the top of your, over the top of your limb here. 
put that up in here. And then let's say you're shooting in the backyard or you're shooting in the basement or shooting on a range, you can set it down and it's got a nice place to keep it for you. All right, and that is how you set up the Tidewe compound bow, otherwise known as the Instinct R2. As you can see, there's actually a couple of them here behind me. All three of these are fully set up, ready to go. So like I said, if you are in the area, I cannot preach it enough come on over to Underground Outdoors here in Brilliant, Wisconsin. Pick yourself up one of these new compound bows from Tidewe, and he'll get you set up with draw length, your draw weight. He'll actually even go down into the range with you, um, let you fire off some shots, and make sure that you're tuned in and ready to go for the season two as well. Absolutely, yeah. anytime. Love teaching new people how to shoot, it's fun. Sweet. Hopefully this answered a lot of your questions about the compound bow itself. I know it's kind of been uh, a, bi a big, a big question here at Tidewe the last couple of months since we came out with this bow. They are available only on Amazon.com right now. So if you are interested in one of these bows, you can really only get them here in Brilliant and then on Amazon. Being said, we hope all of you had a happy new year and a Merry Christmas. And we look forward to seeing all your successful stories with the brand new Tidewe compound bow. As always, keep living your passion and we'll catch you on the next video.